Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. And don't worry guys, I got it. I have Tornado. I can now look at what you're supposed to do with this thing. So let's look at the controls. Wow, that wasn't helpful whatsoever. <laughs> spin, spin, spin. Ah! God, remind me to never use this game when I'm doing any uh, research paper on how a freaking copy ability works. Okay, so today we're going to actually go through Mustard Mountain. First thing we need to do is get that map. The map is not far from where we are. Although, hmm. I'm not really seeing any doors that go to the left. I know this one does, so this one might be where we need to go. But this just took us up even further, so... Huh. Kissy face! No. I don't want to be kissy faced right now. I want to find my bearings. I want to find a map. I want to find Dumbo the Elephant. I'm sorry, Fan Fan. Fan Fan's also kind of intimidating because he's really, really fast. I didn't realize elephants were known for their speed. I thought they were more, you know, strength related animals. Okay, so he's going to do an apple first. Apple! Thank you. Oh. I stopped. What a bad time to stop swallowing, Kirby. What the hell? You're supposed to throw an apple first. Way to break your pattern, Dumbo. Oh my god. Fan Fan just freaking killed me. Or maybe I can skip Fan Fan. I don't really want to deal with him right now. Nope. Ugh, oh, my god. Why is this boss so freaking hard? He's the simple Kirby boss that repeats the same pattern over and over again. There should be nothing hard about him. See, I didn't even take any damage. Oh yeah, I did. At the very beginning I did, but... Still, it wasn't that hard. Okay, I need, uh... Aha! Even the screen scrolling can't stop me now. It can try. It won't be successful, though. Also, okay, yeah, we're still on Mustard Mountain. I was like, this part looks really, really weird and different. I was almost doubtful that we were in the same place still. Ah, God. Get away from me. Get away from me, you losers. Line up and around. Mustard Mountain Castle Town. Oh, okay, here's the first uh, mini puzzle we'll actually get to be doing in this game. Which is kind of cool, I guess. So let's do it. Let's get Mini here. Ah, uh, okay. Now, uh... I hate puzzles where you have to uh, let go of your power to actually use what you need to use, but... I suppose I'll deal with it. Oh, shoot! Okay, good. Oh, that was close. That was really, really close. Also, it doesn't seem like I'm missing any uh, treasures yet, which is good. I think this is actually the way to the boss. So we're going to be pretty much done. Oh, I know. This leads to a goal. But I was worried for a second that this would be another level where we fight the boss before we even get the map. Which is known to happen, honestly, in this game. Okay, so Boom Boxer or Box Boxer actually gives you fighter, not throw. 
It looked like he could have given you a throw, though, from the way he, you know, picks you up and throw. I guess he claps you. He doesn't really throw you. Also, we're back in Candy Constellation, which I'm still not ready for. So, back to this area we go. I want to figure out how we get to the map room. That's what's kind of driving me crazy right now. Probably this room right here. That'd be my guess. Hey, look, it's the spin, spin, spin power. You know, that thing. So one power I definitely need for this section is hammer. I think hammer is going to be like the best way that we can actually access the different areas of Area 4. At least when it comes to this little tricky part right here. Actually, can I use this at all? Hadoken? Can you go through walls? Nope. That's annoying. Oh, I wish Hadoken went through walls. I really did. Although I can use this, technically. To go back the other way. I kind of want UFO, since uh, Green Kirby has him, but... Uh, last time I called my friends over to me, it didn't end very well. <laughs> I'm still not happy with him. <laughs> I'll never be happy with him, though. Yeah, Cook Kirby's not gonna help. Actually, UFO will help. Yeah, yeah. Get over here, guys. I need you. No. Okay, UFO, you see these... Thank you, but that's not it. That's not all. You still have to hit the blocks below. Okay, no, you still have it. Okay, good. Come on, turn around. Is there any way I can get you to do this properly? This? Thank you! Oh, thank God! <laughs> oh, thank God I don't have to deal with that crap anymore. Ah, oh, freaking hate those guys. Good thing is, I do have uh, pretty much all of Area 1 covered from uh, here all the way around. I still have this section, but... We'll get to that in time. This all leads to Area 5, so we'll be getting that to, to that next anyway. Uh, I thought this was a bigger room than it actually was. Oh, and that doesn't give you a missile. Well, burning it is then. Let me get this room first. I don't think this is a... Oh! Okay, this guy gives you missile, though. Frickin' bomb bar. He's kind of a tricky boss, though. How'd I miss? Ugh. Okay. The good thing about him is I think you do get, like, a uh, double hit whenever you swallow two of them. That can be nice. But is this useful, or does this just lead... That's quite literally just a boss room. Okay, then. I mean, it is what it is. Not much I can really do or say about it now. I want that freaking map, though. I want that map, and it kind of frustrates me that... I'm going up this way as opposed to where the map is. And I'm gonna die, aren't I? Especially to go back to get this. Nope. Okay. Oh. What?! I was in missile form! That's stupid. That's really, really stupid, honestly. 
If I was in missile form, I should have been protected. I don't know why I wasn't. I mean, I know, it's, I, I know why it happened, because the frickin' Scarfy enemies are, you know, explosive whenever you run into them, but still, that's stupid. At least this might lead to where the map is. I feel like I'm freaking Dora the freaking Explorer looking for a freaking map all the freaking time. Only difference is I say freaking a lot. Okay, well this will take us to this area. I can dig that. I can definitely dig that. Let's get Missile. I feel like Missile might be the thing we'll need at some point or another. Stupid roly-poly enemies. I'm just gonna fly through these guys. And that's taking me up again. I want that map! <laughs> I'm sure you guys can tell that I really, really want that map. I also really want this. Could use the UFO guy to get it. You know what? Screw it. I'm doing it. I don't care. I don't care. UFO. Do me a favor. Shoot through there. Shoot through there. Come on. Come on, this isn't rocket science. Shoot through the wall. Or give me your power. He's just going up and down the hill. Oh my god, this is so stupid. Ugh. Wait, wait, wait. No, a little further. A little further. Right here. See that guy? See that guy? Let's do this. Oh, come on! He didn't even charge it all the way. Come on. Come on. Shoot! Whee! Uh Come on, come on. Oh, he lost it. No! What what? Where'd the UFO go? Oh come on! That's my freaking power up. Oh, we can use mini to get through. That, that that's really really good to know. I feel like I'm stuck now though. Yeah, I'm pretty much stuck. I have to die. Oh no, I can go through here. See like right there, like how do you have any indication that you can do that? That's what kind of drives me crazy about this game, because they are not that clear about it. Now I'm in a different room entirely. God, this has been a weird episode. <laughs> All that guy had to do was just shoot at the frickin' thing. It was really, really not that hard. No, no, it had to be done the weird way. Also, I don't feel like I should be here. I feel like I should have gone the other way. Screw it, I'm going back. There was a room right there, so... Like a warp room. So I'm not wasting a lot of time by doing this. I'm not going to get missile this time, though. 
Actually, wait. No, I better go this way first. No, I came this way. That's right. This is where I need to go. I want to try that mini room again. I feel like I was about to solve it. I just wanted to solve it a much easier way. A way that actually made sense. Because the guy had the UFO power and lost it somehow. These guys are still trying to freaking solve this room. Oh my god, what is wrong with my freaking allies? Okay. Shoot, shoot. Ah, damn it! Ugh! Thank god it didn't give me a game over. Damn it! I found it again. Uh. Okay, good. I made it to this point. Wow, I would have just jumped through the whole thing. What? Thank God. Okay, whatever. I don't need to use that anymore. Screw it! I'm taking the one up, which is definitely not worth it. Where am I now? Don't even know. I think I want to go this way, though. Don't even know anymore. Looks like it leads to the same place, which is probably the boss. Okay, Cupid could have... Yeah, Cupid actually does help right here. Because with Cupid, you actually get to keep your uh, height when you're flying. You don't have to constant. I was just defending the power up and it screws me over. Okay, well, it keeps your height better than what normal Kirby floating does. I guess that's a better way to say it. Still, though, you gotta love how it just, like, you know. Can I shoot down? Oh yeah, I can. Didn't really help me though. Come on. Ah. Fine, I'll just fall through the enemies. Stupid, but guys aren't giving me much of a chance anyway. Yeah, I don't even think I can squeeze through there with just a uh, normal Kirby anyway. Okay, I need fire. Maybe I find fire up here. This might... Oh no, I can't go back though. Okay, there's Cutter. I'm about to die again, though. Okay. Health, thank you. I'm still not missing anything from any of the rooms, though. Here. Have I been in this room already? I don't even know anymore. All I know is Red Kirby's here, and if he's here, that's really bad news. Oh, there was something here. Okay. I kind of want to use this, get this block out of the way. Pfft. Idiot. I don't know why I did that. Uh, I'm, I was trying to see if I could get this guy. 
Because I think with the ice, you can actually melt the lava, or at least, like, get it to stop for a period of time. I might be mistaken, though. Yep, I'm totally mistaken. Anyway, let me call my Kirby friends again. Friends, or... God, I'm, I can't call them friends. I can't call them friends with a straight face. They're not even helping me! Help me! They're pushing me against the freaking... Screw these guys. Screw them. They're not helping. <laughs> oh my god. I hate the AI in this game so much. Like, it's seriously not supposed to be that bad. In Kirby Superstar, whenever your freaking allies, despite how freaking dumb they were, if they saw something they could interact with, they would immediately do that. Almost to their detriment, but at least they did it. That, I mean, that's just stupid what I just witnessed now. I keep getting hit by freaking lava. Kirby! <laughs> Black Kirby! <laughs> Shadow Kirby, whatever. Okay, I'm here now. I, 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 this has seriously just been one of those very, very weird episodes. And I am very apologetic if it's been unenjoyable because of that, but... Uh, I'm just going to climb up here, see what I can find. I might find a goal or a warp or something. That's fine. Uh, wh whatever I find, it's... Whatever I find, this episode cannot be ending soon enough. Oh my god, I am just playing like crap today, too. You know what it is? I think it's because I'm playing as the Sapphire Kirby, which is a shame because it looks really cool, but it's also the symbol of the Sapphire Star, aka Shadow Mario 41. And, uh, he is definitely not doing me any favors ever. So, <laughs> oh my god, stop flying! I know you're a freaking bat, and that's most of what you do. Oh, but seriously, you've already. Oh, it's boss time, it's main boss time. That's what this is, that's what this signifies. Again, still no freaking map, though, which worries me. But look who it is! It's Krakow. Krakow is here. Ah, damn it. And taking a page from Kirby's Adventure, you can actually use Tornado to fight this guy pretty effectively. Effectively. <sighs> you know what? This episode's over. I'm happy. <laughs> Again, sorry it was so awkward and weird, but there are just so many things that went wrong here, and I still don't have the map. Which is even worse. But I'll figure it out. I'll see you guys next time when we uh, figure out the rest of what we need to do for World 4. I feel like, even though we don't have the map, we've still explored a lot of it. And gotten a lot of treasures, too. So, 
We have to be getting close to figuring out the puzzle here, so... At least there's that. But I'm, I'll just see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Later, folks.